Today's video is for all those users who wants to know the comparison between the brand new Apple Watch Series 9 and the popular Apple Watch SE 2. I will go through all the similarities and differences one by one. This will help you to choose the right watch for yourself. Let's start the video with design. In terms of looks, both the Series 9 and SE 2 have a similar appearance. They both feature a rectangular display that looks sleek and aesthetic with its edge-to-edge -edge design. Both watches have buttons on the side, including a digital crown button and a power button. The Series 9 comes in 41mm and 45mm sizes, while the Apple Watch SE 2 comes in 40mm and 44mm sizes, making it slightly smaller. You can choose between an aluminium case or a stainless steel case for the Apple Watch Series 9, but the Apple Watch SE 2 only offers the aluminium option. The Apple Watch Series 9 has a slightly smaller bezel, resulting in a larger interactive screen compared to the Apple Watch SE 2. There is more color variation available for the Apple Watch Series 9, offering 5 color options – Red, Pink, Starlight, Silver and Midnight Black, while the Apple Watch SE 2 is available only in 3 colors. An interesting point is that Apple Watch Series 9 is available in pink color, which looks amazing. Talking about build quality, the Apple Watch Series 9 is slightly larger and heavier than SE 2. It weights around 32 grams compared to the SE 2's 26 grams. Now, let's come to display. In terms of display comparison, the Series 9 is better than the SE 2 because the SE 9 offers a maximum brightness level of 2000 nits and you can reduce it to as low as 1 nit. In contrast, the SE 2 has a maximum brightness level of 1000 nits. The Apple Watch Series 9 is efficient for use in sunny conditions or even in a dark room. Another notable difference is that the Apple Watch Series 9 comes with an always-on display, whereas the SE2 does not have this feature. The Apple Watch SE2 is equipped with a 296 mAh battery, while the Watch Series 9 has a 308 mAh battery. Both watches offer approximately the same battery life, lasting up to 18 hours. However, in low power mode, the Apple Watch Series 9 can provide a backup of 36 hours. Both watches support wireless and fast charging. Apple Watch Series 9 can be charged from 0 to 80% in 45 minutes. It is worth noting that the Apple Watches are not known for their extended battery life, as some other companies offer more than a week of battery backup with similar features. However, users often have to compromise on premium design and accuracy when opting for devices with longer battery life from other companies. No doubt that the Apple Watch Series 9 has a better hardware than Apple Watch SE 2. The Series 9 is equipped with a newer S9 chip, offering quicker app transitions and system improvements compared to the SE 2's S8 chip. The Series 9 is faster and can effortlessly handle various tasks. Other than this, the S9 chip enables new features such as double tap gestures, enhanced CD functionality and precision finding for your iPhone. Apple Watch Series 9 also has HomePod integration which is not available in SE 2. The Series 9 comes with new sensors that the SE2 does not have, such as blood oxygen sensor, ECG sensor and temperature sensor. The Series 9 features an updated version of the optical heart sensor present in the SE2. Both watches are from Apple and the Apple Watch Series 9 is the latest model in the series. So the Series 9 is a more powerful smartwatch with additional features. The Watch 9 includes all the features present in the SE2. It also introduces some unique health and fitness features that are available in the Apple Watch SE2. These include the ability to measure blood oxygen levels and perform an ECG, which measures the amount of oxygen in your blood and records the electrical activity of your heart. When it comes to fitness and activity tracking, the Apple Watch Series 9 is the best choice over the Apple Watch SE2. The Apple Watch Series 9 comes with a 64GB of storage while the Apple Watch SE 2 has 32GB. Before the Series 9, Apple used 32GB storage in this series. In reality, storage does not matter because you don't store large files on your watch like you do on your iPhone or PC. Even 32GB is enough storage for a normal person. Apple providing 64GB of storage could help make the watch faster and more efficient for multitasking. The Apple Watch Series 9 GPS variant in the 41mm and 45mm with an aluminium case will cost between $399 to $429 respectively. 
If you opt for the GPS plus cellular variant, then the 41mm and 45mm options with an aluminium case will be priced at $499 and $529 respectively. Meanwhile, the stainless steel case only comes with the GPS plus cellular variant and it starts from $699. The Apple Watch SE 2 is priced at $249 for the 40mm GPS model and $279 for the 44mm model. If you want cellular connectivity, then the price goes up to $299 for the 40mm model and $329 for the 44mm model. In terms of price, the Apple Watch SE 2 is more affordable than the Apple Watch series. You may also find some offers that can help you save money. For the latest offers and prices, click on the links provided in the description. There is no doubt that the Apple Watch Series 9 offers superior hardware and software with a brighter screen. It also includes additional health tracking features with greater accuracy compared to the SE2. If you already have the Apple Watch SE2 and have a tight budget, it is okay to stick with the SE2. However, if you have decided to upgrade from the SE2 or if you are looking for a new watch, then the Apple Watch Series 9 is the best choice. That's it in today's video. What is your view on these watches? Please tell me in the comment section. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more wearable content and comparisons. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.